your holiday time with your families? I did too, but I'm back from my break and it's time for story time. I'll be back every Wednesday, so please be watching. I have picked a fabulous book tonight. If there's one thing I'd love to look at, it's the night sky. Did anyone look at the night sky last month and see Jupiter and Saturn? It was very, very cool. And God is an amazing creator. Our book tonight, boys and girls, is God Made Outer Space. Let's go to outer space. God Made Outer Space. The Bible's first words are, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Before creation, all was dark and empty and lonely and quiet. Create means to make. When God created, he made things. He made lots of things to fill the place we call outer space. He scattered stars across space, sparkling up the darkness. God didn't make all the stars the same size. That would be too boring. Instead, he made some stars huge. Others are medium-sized and some are small. In church or school, you may get stars for doing good work. Those stars usually look like this. But God made his stars round. Keep reading and we'll find out why. God made the stars in so many colors. Red, orange, yellow, white, blue, the colors come from the heat of the stars because all of the stars are hot. The red and orange stars are hot. Yellow and white stars are even hotter. And the blue stars? Don't even ask. Blue stars are the hottest of all. God put all the stars into big groups. We call these giant groups of stars galaxies. Some galaxies are shaped like footballs. Others look like pinwheels. God made them in any shape he wanted. God made galaxies throughout the universe. Just one galaxy has more stars in it than you could count in your whole lifetime. Didn't God make lots and lots of stars? Milky Way is the name of our galaxy. The stars we see at night are a part of that galaxy. Milky Way stars are sprinkled across our nighttime sky like sugar on blackberries. As we look at the stars at night, we can see patterns in the sky. These patterns are called constellations. The Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, there's even one called Orion the Hunter. Can you see his club and shield? Of all the stars God made, there is one we really like. It's the closest to us and it's called the sun. Compared to other stars, the sun is just medium sized. It's hot, yellow, round, and bright. The sun is made of hot gases that produce lots of energy. We see the sun's energy as sunlight, and we feel it as heat. Earth seems like a pretty big place to us, but the sun is much, much bigger than Earth. Over a hundred Earths could fit side by side across the middle of the sun. If the sun were hollow, it would take a million Earths to fill it up. God put the earth at just the right distance from the sun. Not too close or we'd get too hot. Not too far away or we would be too cold. But just right. The earth is called a planet. The planet 
is a ball of rock or gas or both that travels around a star. We are in a family with eight other planets. The nine planets plus the sun make up the solar system. In order from the sun, the nine planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Let's take a closer look. Each planet is so pretty and so different from the others. Little Mercury has craters all over it, but no air around it. Venus, often called the evening star, has thick clouds and very high heat. Earth is beautiful, blue and green. Mars, the red planet, has mountains and dry riverbeds. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the largest planets. Each is made of gas. These four planets have rings around them. Jupiter has bands of clouds and a constant storm called the Great Red Spot. As the largest planet, Jupiter is over a thousand times bigger than Earth. Saturn is the planet with the most beautiful rings. Distant Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are icy cold planets. Which is your favorite planet, boys and girls? I think I know. <coughs> Along with the planets, God made moons. Moons are smaller bodies that travel around the planets. The moons shine by reflecting light from the sun. Earth has one moon. Mars has two moons. Saturn has 20 moons. Poor Mercury and Venus have no moons at all. God also created comets. Comets are made of ice and rock. Sometimes they are called dirty snowballs. He made asteroids too, large rocks found between Jupiter and Mars. And he made meteors, tiny rock fragments from comets. God was busy. God was almost finished creating the universe. With his words, he stirred up space and everything began to spin. The great pinwheel galaxies began to slowly spiral around. All the stars started rotating. Remember how I told you God made the stars round? Round is the perfect shape for spinning. The planets have two motions. They began to spin around like tops and they also traveled around the sun. Moons began to move around the planets. Comets and asteroids started their silent journeys around the sun. Meteors drifted through space. Sometimes they entered the Earth's air, speeding up and heating up. They left quick trails across the night sky, streaks called shooting stars. God made outer space an exciting place. When God was finished creating the planets, moon, and stars, he looked at all that he had made, and he said, it is good. You can read more about God's creation, boys and girls, in the Bible. Just look up Genesis chapter 1. And we know Genesis 1.1 1, 1 says, Say it with me. In the beginning, God created...